Here's a little story for you. Welcome to the channel, my 450R. A little bit of a basket case. Let me explain why. Whoops. So I found this one online about an hour and a half away from home. And if you remember a previous video, I said that it had a cracked cylinder. Behold, <laughs> and a bike. But this one showed up with cracked cylinder, which was not the case. This was actually the second machine I bought. And my excited ass should have checked it out a little bit better. So apparently the story on this one right here is that the guy had it uh, running, riding with his buddies. He had a water leak from somewhere. I'm assuming it's going to be maybe a gasket in the water pump. Hopefully something easy and simple to fix. But he put water in it because it was leaking and then unfortunately left it outside. Cracked the head open, which was about three years ago. This thing's been sitting around with all that crust on it for three years and it's dirty and nasty. And I bought a new head for it. It was actually rebuilt by the guys at Speed Zone. Totally awesome. Fresh valves, all rebuilt, machined. Almost dropped it and scrapped it. <laughs> Box number two. We got a shiny new cylinder. Wait, give me that. Give me that. Anyway, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic right now, but you can tell it's uh, it's a freshie. And the last piece of the puzzle is this nasty ass beast. I'm gonna It's got a little problem. It seemed okay when I first took it apart. I mean the piston's really nasty. These rings are all they're kind of stuck and messed up. Uh, but like the crank doesn't the piston rod won't turn on the crank anymore. And it wasn't always doing that. that. That hasn't always been the case. That's a little concerning. And also too, the coolant basically, because the head busted in the water jacket, the coolant pretty much went all the way down and in there. And this is the old head. I mean, it looks kind of okay inside, but <laughs> as you can see, that was broken when I pulled it out of the chassis. But look right here. That's the main issue, plus these crusty valves in there, and it looks horrible. I'm well on the way to getting this shit fixed. But first, I gotta take care of this crusty bike. Mmm, look at the crust. I'm all kinds of bad when I drop on the feet. Taking down my hair, got your eyes on me. You need it, you want it, but can you handle this? This lollipop is popping, 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 lollipop is popping. <laughs> I won't make you watch the rest. I'm gonna put some solvent cleaner deal thingy on a degreaser or something. I'll just bring it back inside when it's clean. I'm gonna take a break from this program for a moment to appreciate the view of my backyard. The sun comes over the tops of the trees, lights up the tops of those trees. Looks pretty cool. What is that? Yeah, my lady, she's got some ducks. <laughs> A quack shack. That camper was supposed to be for in the back near the track, so we had a spot to hang out. But guess who got it instead? Pen. A chicken coop. Uh, we got a cool little pond too. Check it out. <laughs> Buddy Steve helped me make that. What's up, everybody? Thank you for appreciating with me. Now back to our regular scheduled program. Mm -hmm. has started she's all stripped down look at that now I make a game plan order parts wait for parts save up for parts figure out what parts I need so enjoy go-kart video oh are you serious right now <laughs> oh, I'm trying to have a good day data log something start date something something it's actually like 6th of October. I'm just going karting again because I think that karting is gonna make me a better driver and strive towards my goals and this fucking truck. <sighs> so I just got this thing running again. It got all weird on me the other day. Uh, well, last little video clip, it, it's the orange cart and it kind of died out. I was playing with the throttle, it died out and then the cord snapped. So when you edit this, make sure you put that shit in there too. Well, if you need it, whatever. So let's try this shit again. I'm going I'm going to go and do some carding.
a week and a bit later. Look it. Down to nothing. Just a piece or two to take off and it's completely stripped. Pressure washing didn't get everywhere because the swing arm was still on and everything. So I gotta clean that. Well, maybe I'll dig into it with some scotch brights or something, clean it right up, get all that, go get that gunk off of it and see how shiny I can make it look or how clean or how good, maybe polish it while I wait for parts to show up in the mail. Uh oh. Jessie's at work right now and the roof is blowing off her chicken coop, so I gotta do something about that. Quick fix time. Oh, okay. Let's try a knife. What are you guys talking about? Honey, I fixed your roof. A farmer's work is never done. <laughs> now I've seen it on the interwebs that if you use some WD-40 and Scotch-Brite, you can clean these up pretty good. Let's see what happens. took way too long I'm all crusty with Thanksgiving weekend I was running around a lot but I finally got the frame finished well as finished as I want it to be I'm not gonna do the cast parts on the frame because I find when you polish an entire frame and chrome it all out kind of style it kind of gets lost in the ether a bit it looks very like liquidy and I find it takes away a bit of character so I'll have to clean them up a bit more but the cast parts like these pieces here and the steering neck I left brushed aluminum and polished these I mean it's not perfect but it's a dirt bike. And I didn't really want it to be perfect. I just want it to be badass. And well, it's a dirt bike. Let's have a look. There's parts to be ordered, there's parts on the way, and there's parts I need to figure out that I need and clean up. So for now, I'll leave you with the last of the dirt karting videos from last season. Enjoy, peace out. <laughs> uh, see you later, dudes.